When you're a real-life supervillain like me, you're up against more than the tight-clad do-gooders. There are also unexpected challenges, like think about in movies, comics, the greatest supervillains, the ones who you sort of root for, even though they're the so-called bad guy. What is it about them that makes them sympathetic or even likable? I think more than anything, it's because you know their stories, their tragedies, their motivations, their defining moments. You may not like what they're doing, but you understand it. You can feel for them. In the real world, you don't get that. People don't see what made me what I am. I'm just some troublemaker in a costume. But I want that understanding. I want the connection. I want people to know the real me. The real Dr. Guacamole. My childhood was typical, for the most part, which is a shame because, you know, a traumatic childhood is a great way to score sympathy. Uh, I never had many friends being such an intellectual. My original superpower, really, was kind of a loner. Maybe an outcast, some would say. I eventually did find others I could connect with. Rebel sorts. We didn't really want to live by society's rules. They looked up to me. I was uh, sort of their leader. We pulled jobs together, robbed supermarkets, grocery stores, convenience stores, snack machines. Grocery criminals, they called us. We were just out to shock the system. Yeah, open some eyes. Good times. Good times. Well, after this one job, we, we got attacked by this supernatural food creature. Uh, his body was like made entirely of groceries. The whole incident was really just indescribable. Why don't you drop that avocado and face me like a bad man? Any last words? Avocado, no. He knocked me out with these brass knuckles. They were avocados. Hass knuckles, I guess. When that berry burst on my face, part of that monster's power must have burst through with it. That's when I became Dr. Guacamole. I wouldn't be surprised if the paper started calling me Doc Guac. See, I was infused with the powers of the avocado. Well, the tree, technically. For example, I can produce my own avocados now. I just focus and they bud out from any of my branches. Usually the arms. They're useful as weapons. I can hit people with them. Throw them. I can set them up as a distraction for some hungry guard. They're really delicious. Good for you, too. I eat them. I don't even mind that they came from my armpit. Yeah, they really are a superfood in every sense of the word. I usually have a few ready to go just in case, uh, but they will drop if they get too mature. Kind of messy, but you have to be prepared. Let's see. I can trigger uh, tree pollen allergies, which can come in handy. Bionic Frank has a tree pollen allergy, so I imagine I'll be getting some calls when somebody has to tangle with him. <laughs> My skin is now toxic to a lot of different animals. Uh, went through a few cats before I figured that one out. It's not a generally useful power, but you never know. I suppose I might have to fight a dog sometime. Oh! And I think I have an unnaturally long life. I mean, probably. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Did you know that there are some avocado trees that are more than 400 years old? So, I'm claiming that one. Now, though these powers are awesome, and I love them, there are a couple of downsides. I have to drink a lot more water. Like gallons. And I eat a lot more dirt than I used to. 
So, I'm what people would call a criminal. And now I have these astonishing powers. That makes me a supervillain, right? I don't even think I have a say in that now. If I just keep going out there and doing what I've been doing, what I've always done, I now have this label. I've got to embrace it. It's who I am now. So I start off with the name, Dr. Guacamole, Dr. Guac. Huh. It's a good name. It's catchy. It's authoritative. So it commands respect. And it's accurate too. I wanted to be official, so I took some online courses. And uh, I am technically a dentist. It's not the best printout, but it is official in Mexico. The costume was harder. Uh, I had a lot of ideas and I made some sketches here, but it really took me a while to really nail it down. I started off just like thinking about, I'm gonna be a doctor. So what if I just pulled on a, like a full doctor's outfit? And you know, like, you know, it, here comes the doctor. So then I started focusing on the tree because I have the powers of the avocado tree where if I'm running from the law or running from you know, a security guard or something, I could just like run into some woods and then just become a tree. But yeah, you know, there'd be a lot of wood to carry around or wear and it's not easy to move in wood. Uh, there's a... There's a drawing my buddy uh, Stan, his son, drew this for me. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> uh, I figured maybe uh, maybe some sort of like leotard uniform suit. That's good for mobility. It. I tried this on. It got a lot of laughs. People laughed at me. In the end, I managed something functional but also very dynamic. The cloak is really the centerpiece. It allows me to get right in there and pick the avocados. And it disorients my opponents. It's a strange line to walk wearing the outfit. In my head, I'm still the same man I was before. But if I start sprouting fruit wearing my street clothes, people absolutely freak out. When I'm wearing this, nobody bats an eye. It's like self-identifying as a supervillain actually makes people more comfortable with you. Like, superpowers change people's perception of you more than they actually change you. But I'm the same me. I'm just trying to show people a better way. Hey, you think I should rob this place? I mean, it'd be kind of weird. All the food's cooked. But you think I should do it? Okay. Yeah. Let me just go get my stuff. Okay, everybody, get your hands up where I can see them. I've got no time to mess around. People don't always understand why I do what I do. A lot of people fear me. Society has cultivated this warped sense of injustice in them. I'm the bad guy for standing up to the system. Terrible vengeance monsters that brutally attack without warning are seen as good. It's, it's backwards. I just want that to change. I don't see much of the old gang these days. I guess it's understandable, all things considered. We went through a lot together. But in the end, I had this calling. My destiny lies with the avocados. I just wish they weren't so fatty. <laughs>